testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. There are some people who say well, it's a good thing the Jews rejected Jesus because otherwise we wouldn't have had a chance. Paul explains in Romans 9 through 11 that God's intention was to use the nation of Israel to reach out to the whole world. We see God's purposes begin with the human family. And then they narrow to the Semitic race. And then to the Abrahamic line. And then to the Isaiah airship. And then to the seed royal of Judah. And then to the house of David. And then to the faithful remnant. And then to the seed of the woman. And all of the purposes of God focus on this one solitary person. All of the promises, all of the prophecies, the fulfillment of the word of God, your salvation, everything hung on him. The Lord Jesus then becomes the focus of prophetic witness. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. But then it begins to widen out again, doesn't it? And he sends this message of salvation in this person to Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the uttermost parts of the earth, right? And it was as God's intention to use the Jews to reach the Gentiles, but if they wouldn't do that, God would sovereignly overrule and he would use the Gentiles to reach the Jews, that he might have mercy upon all. That was always his intention.